literally everything bitcoin is sending man if you got bitcoin on your name you're literally sending right now it's your boy crypto million back with another one so i think we did get another uh what was it a futures etf literally approved which is also positive for bitcoin and the entire cryptocurrency we starting to see a little pullback from some of our favorite cryptocurrencies this is a rant video i'll probably be just random talking about different things some of my favorite projects what to look forward to going into the next week and most importantly if you like videos when i'm ranting make sure that you like subscribe leave a comment let me know in the comments is the pump done or will the pump continue it's kind of crazy to see bitcoin hanging around at um at 30k i was kind of surprised i'm like man uh bitcoin is really really holding you know 30k like like a stable coin or something you know what i mean so that is a positive um i, I guess i'll check out the cme uh, predictions uh, after this just to see uh, what we're looking at as far as the next federal rate hike but yeah bitcoin holding 30,000 strong it did tap 31,000 we like that to see that ethereum did go over um 1900 at one point so the cryptocurrency market really really looking to make a decision here uh as we sit at about 1.1 trillion dollars is isn't that amazing family when you think about some of these companies that are entering the cryptocurrency space with these spot etfs some of them are worth trillions of dollars you know you'll start to see a lot of that retirement money come into the crypto space which is bullish in fact we're not even nowhere near altcoin season so we go let's talk about that you can see here that um hey, we're in bitcoin season so technically historically this is a time, the best time to actually, you know, look into your altcoins, you know, and we've been looking into altcoins. We've been looking at different narratives that I think um, that's going to pop off. We've been looking at open interest. Make sure you go check that video I did out yesterday. When I have a little bit of time, it really gives me an opportunity to research and do my alpha. So it's very important that y'all support these videos because the more support that y'all give, the more time I can dedicate to the channel opposed to to everything outside of the channel so again let's just stay focused here um 32 days into the next federal rate hike we're looking at a 71 percent chance of uh, a 0.25 you know i think it's kind of consensus that a lot of people feel like 0.25 is next and um for the person that hopped in the comments and was like oh there is not partner with dell do your research just do your research like it's, it's, it's always people they hop in the comments that want to sound smart. Don't get me wrong. I, I welcome every comments, but then be saying some real foolish things. So, again, do your research, man. Yeah, you know, I've been talking about Hedera H bar for years now. You know what I mean? So very, very familiar what's going on with the governance council. Um, but taking a look at the total altcoin market here, you can see family that we are hanging around overbought. You know, it, it, we're just hanging around down here. We're, we're looking nothing like Bitcoin as we see Bitcoin itself has finally uh, broken above the Gaussian channel, even though it didn't turn green yet. So she's telling me we would have to retest it and actually hold it as support. But the altcoin market is not performing as well. So there for the people that was like, oh, man, all coins to start to pump. I'm running out of time. I didn't want the bear market to happen this quick. It's still a lot of time, family. Still a lot of time looking at the weekly chart here. We're below um, a moving average. We're, you know, below the um, the Gossin channel. So uh, technically, this is probably the best time to buy altcoins, okay? On the weekly, we are flying under the 200-day average. The people who bought altcoins right here under this 200-day average. Actually, let me circle it for the people in the back the people who bought all coins under the 200 day moving average right here made some pretty good money on the way up right here now again we're below the 200 day moving average and the gossip channel and family i just don't think we're going to stay below it that well as this blue line has crossed over the orange line signaling that we could see some bullish momentum to the upside so last time it did cross over we see a nice move to the upside as far as the momentum here with stock rsi so we could possibly be setting up for that. The longer that we stay down here, guess what? It's going to be like a rubber band. The more we're going to coil up, you know, since like when you shake a soda, the more we just at the bottom shaking that soda. When we do pop the top, you feel me? It's going to, you know, be a nice good move. So you want to, you know, get used to taking advantage of these weeks in the red or these days in the in the red and it's good and healthy for pullbacks in cryptocurrency when we're in officially in a, a bullish market just to let you guys know 
and um oh my internet went down let's re let's um all right so reset that um and yes bitcoin here did break out of the gaussian channel and we still haven't seen full momentum to the upside from the stock R side so bitcoin could technically family move up we're looking at a move um we're looking at about what's this i don't want to say i don't want to say a move like that you know what i mean but maybe right here maybe like the thirty-eight thousand would probably be like the next little area i say about thirty-eight thousand. if we see the stock rsi go up dxy go down when we start the new week you know we're looking at something like 30 30 maybe let's see 36,000 30 yeah about 36,000 a nice little move on the weekly here um maybe we um close out the next week with bitcoin at 36,000 and we could finally start to see some of these altcoins finally push um stuff like jasmine jasmine's looking pretty good on the daily as you can see right here it looks to want to put in a double bottom um we never broke this neckline stock rsi on the way down it's putting in the pattern here for the w it looks like it wants to put a double bottom we'll just have to continue to monitor this um, with jasmine trading sideways but again a lot of these altcoins aren't really doing anything um doja Lon mars here uh pepe looks like it wants to you know consolidate a little bit come down a little bit pepe was doing pretty good um and a few other uh meme coins that i do follow uh let's see you know for all of my ladies fans my ladies up four percent on a day and then we have h bar h bar people all right h bar up two percent on a day so for blue chips you know still we're not seeing no crazy gains yet um i did drop a um a project that could possibly put up some games on the patreon so make sure that you guys if you're interested in that check out the link in the description but besides that i think that there's still a lot of time left for altcoin so y'all let me know what y'all think about the market i just wanted to do a quick rundown um i guess we'll talk about you know a little bit later today what may happen on monday and what we're facing this week as far as maybe the fomc uh, we do got a little bit of um bearishness from the whole russia situation i don't want to get too much into it but if you've been paying attention to the news and the whole russia situation that's you know what i mean that could affect the market as well so keep that in mind a little bit of macro noise out there but for the most part you know uh, um consolidation a nice good pullback all that is healthy it's healthy we're loading back up baby it's your boy crypto millie i'll see you in the next one